My name is Mary Catherine Nagel. I'm a playwright here with the Colorado New Play Summit. The play that I wrote, I co-authored with Suzanne Schoenharjo. It's called Reclaiming One Star. This story is an uncovering of the truth behind specific lies the Washington football team has told, and specifically Dan Snyder, regarding why they have decided to name their team the R-word. And in litigation and also just in media and in public statements, Dan Snyder, the owner of the team, has repeatedly said, the team was named the R-word to honor Native people because the first coach when the team came to Washington, D.C., was Native. He was a full-blooded Sioux. Uh, it's not true. And not only is it not true, but that first coach, William Lone Star Dietz, was actually investigated by the FBI and prosecuted by the United States attorney and went to jail for fraudulently attempting to steal the identity of a young boy from Pine Ridge, James One Star. And this play sort of reclaims James's identity, which since it is still appropriated and stolen and used in a, I think, very wrongful manner by the Washington football team today. A courtroom in the past that is also in the present. Mr. Snyder, if you could please inform the judge, what is your relationship to the Washington Redskins? I am the owner. You own the team? I am the owner of the Redskins businesses and a lifelong fan of the team. I still remember my first Redskins game. Objection, Your Honor. Whether he still remembers his first football game is irrelevant. Overruled. Let him speak. So Suzanne and I had been talking about this for years, and then she'd had the idea for a play going back years ago. We had sort of pitched the idea to different theaters, and no one had been very interested. And when DCPA reached out to commission me, Chris Coleman, I said, look, I know you want to commission me, but I've been dreaming to write this play with Suzanne Schoenharjo. Like, can we work this out so you, you work with both of us and both of us write this play together? And could DCPA be its artistic home? And Chris said, that sounds fascinating, absolutely. Um, he was very excited about the idea and, and has been very supportive from day one about both of us working on this story here. Dan Snyder, I have taken a lot of the scenes from his own speeches he's given publicly. You know, a lot of it is taken from either things that we know or have read or have seen him say. Suzanne and I are doing our best to portray this story truthfully. And it's been interesting to see whether or not the audience sympathizes with him at any point in time and if and how they do. What Suzanne and I have created is a play that uncovers a truth and shows light on a lie, but also shows how the lies of the past are being perpetuated today. It is the beginning. You know, this last Sunday was the first time I ever heard it out loud with actors. And, you know, Suzanne and I are working on what we're learning from that. And I think, you know, this will be the second and third time this weekend. And, and it's really exciting to, to just discover what this play is about and keep developing it. Mm -hmm.